Kensington Oval during the day, St. Lawrence Gap at night. After a full day of test cricket, British tourists are flocking to the still popular strip in the south of the island for culture, cuisine and entertainment. The influx of visitors is a positive development for businesses in the area. We love the English. They're here for cricket and they're doing a fantastic job in supporting, supporting the local culture, yeah? We're making money with the English. We love it. I wish they come every year, every month, every week, every day. And they're very, very, very manly. I, I like their spirit. This has been pretty, pretty much good at all times. We never had no, um, no dungners, you know. The, the cricketers came in now and it, it's pretty good, actually. Business has been really good. And the locals love it here. We have a good environment, good staff, and people love the, um, the happy hours. I will say that the cricket has been very good to us. Um, we've had a pretty good season uh, so far, and cricket is just the bumper that we've needed after the last 18 months of not much happening. Um, it's very good. Business-wise, it's good for staff. Um, so it's been going pretty good. John Brown. The tourists are enjoying a taste of the Barbadian experience. So we're here, here to watch the cricket, um, here to enjoy the tropical lifestyle as well. Um, yeah, it's uh, a paradise. I came when I was a bit younger. My mum used to work for an airline, so she got quite good deals on the, on flights. And uh, I think my parents actually came in on their honeymoon as well, actually. So uh, special place, Barbados. We've come here to watch the second test against England, and it's absolutely fantastic. The people are so friendly, warm, and welcoming, and I couldn't wish for a better place to spend five days with my sons and my brother. These visitors have had such fun here, they've promised to spread the word about their experiences in St. Lawrence Gap. Joshua Hinkson, CBC News.